This video has been kindly sponsored by Moto CNC. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be carrying out a light modification to the venerable old ZX9R that you can see before you. Now, um, I've had this bike for absolutely ages and it is a project bike that I have yet to start. Now, I've been building my workshop uh, over the last year, basically during the lockdown period, and it's almost complete. All I'm gonna do is build a workbench in there and this bad boy will be shifted over there and we'll start pulling her apart in order to give it the complete nut and bolt restoration that I have been promising for so long. Now, um, I know that uh, a fairly hefty chunk of my subscriber base is following um, the progress on this bike and I keep getting questions asking me when I'm going to start it. Don't worry guys, I will be doing just that. Um, however, that won't be in this video. What I am going to do, however, is show you um, some bar risers that I've been sent by Moto CNC uh, for the ZX9R and I thought I could do a little video on the ZX9R as a little teaser and uh, yeah that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So thank you very much for stopping by guys, let's dig into it. <laughs> So, what we have in this little box that uh, Moto CNC have kindly sent me um, in order to be able to show you guys is um, some bar risers. Now, um, first thing we have, a little bag with a couple of bolts in it, and then we've got uh, two little wrapped packages. There is a sticker inside the pouch, uh, inside, inside the box, should I say. Um, obviously, uh, everybody loves to get a sticker in their, uh, in their packages. Doesn't matter what you buy, and a sticker's always cool. Right, let's open up these and see what we've got inside. Right, inside this little bubble wrap bag, we have a bar riser. Now, as you can see, the way it works is it fits around the fork leg and basically bolts in place. Um, into the yoke using the supplied bolts um, because obviously these are longer than the ones that are currently fitted in. So they go over the fork leg, bet sandwiched between the uh, the clip on itself and the yoke uh, and bolt in place um, into the original bolt location on the yoke. So as you can see that is the rise that you're going to get. Now um, obviously bar risers aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea, you either need them or you don't. Um, but um, it may be remiss of me to say so, but I would imagine that the, the main user base for the old ZX9R are um, probably people of my age and um, have had one for many, many years and therefore they're starting to get on a little bit in age. Back, the back isn't as good as it used to be, maybe the legs and the arms. So they don't want to get rid of the bike because they love it as ZX9R owners do because they are absolutely wonderful comfortable machines however they may just need a little bit of more comfort at the bar end uh, of the of the machine um, just to just to improve riding comfort basically so yeah that's what we're going to do we're going to fit them see how they uh, see how simple they are to fit and uh, look at the difference between where we are now and um, how the bike sits with them fitted so let's dig into it Okay, looking at what we've got in the package um, and the bars themselves on the bike, this looks like an incredibly simple job. So what I'm going to do is remove both bolts that hold the, um, that go from the clip on into the yoke. It's just a little shouldered bolt there. One and. Okay, you don't need that at the moment. Right, what we're going to do next is um, just take the clip-ons off the top 
of the uh, the fork legs and what I'm going to do because it's easier to get into because with the switch gear in place is just use a, a good old fashioned allen key just to crack the bolt off and these are quite tight probably tighter than they needed to be actually to be honest and there we are as you can see that's all loose enough and what we'll do is we'll do the same on the other side yeah these are very very tight they don't need to be anywhere near that tight someone's garfed them on in the in, in the past I'm not sure what they were expecting them to do they don't they're not going to fall off are they let's be honest and there we are there's the other one loose right now what we can do is simply lift the bar off the top of the forks like so and now we are free to fit the risers so I'll grab them out of the box and then get them on right then so I've got one of the uh, one of the risers out of the package and what I want to do is um, I just want to show you uh, the actual thickness of these so you know how much we're actually rising, uh, raising the bars by and there we are as you can see these are 16 millimeter uh, so yeah we get a 16 millimeter raise of the bars uh, which isn't a massive amount but um, it'll probably make a world of difference um, to you know to the the way your arms feel after especially after a long ride um, so yeah um, hopefully uh, it'll be well worth well worth doing and even if it didn't it's easily you know um, very easily removable back to stock uh, without any um, permanent modification to anything that we're doing here so right what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them on um, they do have Moto CNC laser etched into them um, it's not going to matter which way up we put them even if we put that pointing upwards it's going to be covered by the bars once they're on anyway so it makes no uh, makes no real difference and then to fit them it's simply a case of sliding them over the fork and then aligning the hole with the hole in the yoke let's grab the other one pop it on there like that they fit the, the the machining is absolutely exquisite on these and the fit is absolutely perfect these have been machined to a very very good tolerance the, 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 i can feel the way it's sliding down the fork leg that the the the, the precision is micron perfect there's absolutely no slop in it whatsoever it's really really perfect okay so that's those on then what we need to do now is simply pop the bar back over the fork like so on each side and then what we need to do is take our bolts pop them through back into the holes in the yokes and then what I'll do now I'll go and grab some sockets and we'll get everything tightened up and I'll check the torque specs for the bolts on the handlebars so I've got uh, got my ratchet what I'm gonna do these uh, both of these bolts are started and all I'm gonna do is just tighten them down now uh, this bolt here should be 10 Newton meters And as you can see, what it's doing is it actually doesn't actually clamp the bar down, but it sits inside the hole for the bar. So let's make sure everything is lined up properly. And there we are, she's up to touch. I'll come back and torque them all at the end. Same with this side. that's up to touch right now what I need to do is I just need to tighten the clamps on the bars themselves um, again 
these are tightened up with a torque wrench to 23 newton meters i will say that the uh, the torque that they were done up to when i was trying to undo them was significantly more than 23 so that one's up to touch again what i'll do i'll come back and talk everything later that one's up to touch as well right um, obviously the brake reservoir needs to go on and um, let's pull the screw out make sure the well nut's in there and then pop the screw back in And again, I'll come back and tighten that up in a bit. Right, there we go. That is the installation done. All I've got to do is torque it, as I said before, but I'll do that in a bit. As you can see, there's quite a, quite a rise here, and I just want to check everything, make sure that the bars don't touch any anywhere that they shouldn't do. As you can see, we're not interfering with the fairings or anything like that. We're all good. But that should give a significant improvement in comfort. Now, uh, I anticipate in the comments, somebody will say, well, the bars aren't clamping the fork as well as they did before. Um, I did run a set of uh, uh, bar risers, similar, very similar to these. Uh, obviously the design was different, but um, the, the you, you know the system was the same. On my VFR, without any problems whatsoever, I did several thousand miles and had no no problem at all with the bars moving, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, don't forget what you can do here if if you want to it gives you the option to drop the fork through the yokes um that uh that that will in, you know give improved steering response it, it will certainly make it turn in a bit quicker if you wanted to um, but this actual modification at all won't affect the handling of the bike in any way um it will merely improve your rider comfort okay there we are that is the job done um and i think you'll uh, agree that that was a very 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 simple job it, it took no time at all and uh is achievable with with you know some standard uh hand tools that most people will probably got in their arsenal one last thing that i do want to mention is that moto cnc are offering a 15 percent discount to anyone uh that makes a purchase on the website and uses the code kevshed15 i'll stick it at the bottom just now so you can see uh you can see it and uh yeah 15% is a heck of a saving across the entire website. So uh, don't forget that all important discount code guys. Right. Anyway, um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. First of many uh, with the ZX9R and uh, hopefully it won't be long before the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, join me on the socials over on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook Kev Shed. Uh, I'll leave links to all of those in the uh, in the description, along with a link directly to the Moto CNC website, so you can head over there. And I'll see you all again for the very next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.